So 704 Games just released a tweet confirming that you can race at any track in any series in NASCAR Heat 4 except for Eldora. So this is the tweet as you can see on your screen and this is huge news to hear because this isn't just for offline mode, this will also be enabled for multiplayer. So, from my understanding with this tweet, you can race at Mid-Ohio, Road America, Iowa, Gateway, and Canadian Tire in the Cup Series, Sonoma, Martinsville, and Canadian Tire in the Xfinity Series, and Auto Club, Watkins Glen, Sonoma, Darlington, The Roval, Richmond, Road America, New Hampshire, Mid-Ohio, and Indianapolis in the Truck Series. Now, I possibly did miss some tracks, so if I did, please let me know what tracks I missed in the comments below. So, this is really positive news to hear because this has been heavily requested throughout the NASCAR gaming community and it's great to know it's going to be in Heat 4. I also wish 704 Games added the ability to race at Eldora in the Xfinity and Cup Series because I felt like it could have been a great track to race at, but besides that, it's really positive that 704 Games is giving us the ability to race at tracks that are not primarily on the Cup, Xfinity, and Truck Series schedule. So that will do it for today's video guys, thank you guys all for watching, if you want to pre-order NASCAR Heat 4, a pre-order link will be in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below your opinions about the new tracks you can race at that are not primarily raced at in the top 3 series in NASCAR Heat 4, and don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you can be notified when a brand new NASCAR Heat 4 news video releases. Quick shout out to my donators, shout out to Kyle Larson 42 fan and NASCAR champion 2016. Links to their channels will be in the description below. So I'll see you guys in my next NASCAR 4 news video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. IDK out. I got this soda,